The Predacons are some of my favorite villains in Transformers media. I wanted to create an overview of the faction's history and beginnings. However, since there are so many different events that have occurred throughout the various timelines and continuity, I thought it would be best to gather information from other sources to fill out the gaps. Please note that the following content is not recognized as canon and is not part of the original storyline. With that being said, let's begin. The planet Cybertron was home to a great war between the Autobots and the Decepticons. The root cause of the conflict was the difference in ideology between the Autobots, who fiercely advocated freedom, equality, and peace, and the Decepticons, who sought to dominate, control, and hold power. The war between the two factions was devastating, with massive battles raging across Cybertron, causing extensive damage and loss of life. However, the Autobots emerged victorious, putting an end to the war and bringing peace back to Cybertron. After the Decepticons lost the Cybertronian War, the Predacon Empire was formed by Razor Claw. The Predacons are often the descendants of the Decepticons and seek power at any cost. Driven by resentment and hatred for their Maximal and Autobot enemies, they aim to usurp their enemies and claim what they see as their rightful place in the universe. Though some of them hold to a strange sense of honor, others have no qualms with lying and cheating to claw their way to the top. Razor Claw rallied the new Predacon faction to form its own army and went to war against both the Autobots and their descendants, the Maximals. Over time, the Predacon Empire came close to finally succeeding where the Decepticons had failed. Dive Bomb contacted Ravage, Laserbeak, and Buzzsaw, convincing them to join the new Predacon faction. Ravage, however, grew dissatisfied in this role and left and would later serve the tribe Predacus. But the Predacon Empire's victory over the Autobots and Maximals was halted when Razorclaw was suddenly assassinated by three generals, who seized control of the Predacons for themselves and formed the Tri-Predicus Council. The three members of the Tri-Predicus Council, General Ramhorn, General Seaclamp, and General Sikidakon, were rumored to be so old that they dated back to the Decepticons. One of their agents, Tarantulas, suggests that like himself and unlike the rest of the Predacons, the tri Predicus Council are not descended from the Decepticons trapped on Earth. Instead, they may have extra-dimensional origins, be linked to the Cybertronian Empire, or may be, in fact, creations of Unicron himself. Though the Council continued the war, the Predacons' support army of Decepticons eventually dropped out of the war. The Predacons carried on without them, but were fighting a war they could no longer win on their own. Ultimately, the tri Predicus Council was left with little recourse but to surrender to the combined Autobot Maximal forces. This victory heralded the Pax Cybertronia. Following the signing of a binding peace accord, the Maximals and Predacons were entrusted with upholding the terms of the Pax Cybertronia peace agreement. Both sides had agents who invoked the Pax Cybertronia to arrest war criminals and maintain peace. Despite the Maximal elders suppressing historical information relating to the Great War and the planet Earth, the treaty was successful in preventing further fighting. While some Predacons were unhappy with the adherence of their leaders to the treaty, the tri Predicus Council used the lull to secretly prepare for future conflicts. The tri Predicus Council is one of the many ruling bodies that govern the Predacon Alliance, the political state of the Predacon race. It is the dominant force behind the Alliance. The Predacon Secret Police maintains its own special brand of law and order in service of the Alliance. The tri Predicus Council meets in secret and undisclosed locations to plot the return of the Predacons to glory. However, many Predacons are impatient, and the Council's strategy has led to some rogue behavior among the Predacon ranks. To neutralize such rogues and maintain the Pax Cybertronia publicly, the Council uses the Predacon secret police, led by Shadow Panther, Lieutenant Tarantulas, Onyx Primal, Perlon, Vampire, Wolfang, and the Council's covert agents, Flamor, Magmatron, and Ravage. The Council can combine and create tri Predicus or combine with Tarantulas and Ravage to form Predicus. At the end of the Great War, Predicus merged and murdered Predaking, successfully assassinating Razorclaw and surrendering to the combined Autobot and Maximal forces. While the tri Predicus Council was rearming themselves under the noses of the Maximals, a war criminal stole the golden disc for his mentor, Cryotech, a Cybertronian gangster. This disc had originated from planet Earth where humans had launched a primitive robotic spacecraft to study the outer planets in their solar system. Attached to this spacecraft was a gold disk that contained information about Earth. 
The original Megatron, who was the leader of the Decepticons, had acquired this disc at some point and encoded an additional message on it. In Megatron's message, he ordered any Decepticons who might come across it in the future to use transwarp technology to travel to the past. They were supposed to use the Teletrian One's codes encoded on the disc to access the Ark while its occupants were inert and kill Optimus Prime. This would change history so that the Decepticons could win the Great War. After stealing the disc and decoding the message, he took on the name Megatron, kept the disc for himself, and betrayed Cryotech. Then assembled a crew of like-minded Predacons to head to prehistoric Earth and plunder its Energon. However, his real goal was to fulfill the original Megatron's mission, which was a secret known only to himself. The Tri-Predicus Council discovered Megatron's plan, so they implanted a spy into his operation. This spy was Tarantulas, who was the lieutenant of the secret police. The Council was aware of Megatron's plan to travel back to prehistory, and they intended for Tarantulas to hijack it. This would enable Tarantulas to completely destroy the Ark and its inhabitants. As the Council did not have any Autobot or Decepticon origins, they would be able to avoid the resulting time storm and take control of an altered Cybertron. Their ultimate goal was to conquer the galaxy. However, Megatron managed to escape from Cybertron, causing a maximal craft to go missing in the process. The Council faced diplomatic repercussions as a result of this incident. Megatron was a ruthless leader of the Darksiders, a gang of renegades that included members like Scorponok, Pterosaur, Tarantulas, Waspinator, and Dinobot. He was a Predacon who rose to become the tyrannical commander. Megatron was frustrated with the Tri-Predicus Council's slow tactics for galactic conquest, so he took matters into his own hands. He crash-landed on prehistoric Earth and became enemies with Optimus Primal, the leader of a group of explorers for the Maximals, the Predacon's sworn adversaries. This led to an intense armed conflict known as the Beast Wars, which took place on prehistoric Earth. The planet is rich in raw energon deposits, which are highly concentrated and toxic to the robotic forms of both the Maximals and Predacons. To protect themselves from the harmful effects of these deposits, they adopt alternate organic forms until their robotic forms are required. The Maximals take on the shapes of recognizable animals such as mammals, birds, and fish, while the Predacons typically assume the forms of reptiles, amphibians, dinosaurs, and invertebrates. Megatron, the leader of the Predacons, initially intended to take the form of an alligator but ultimately rejected it in favor of the more powerful Tyrannosaur. Before its crash landing, the Maximal ship deployed stasis pods containing vulnerable and undeveloped Maximal protoforms, leaving them to orbit the planet to protect them from potential destruction during the crash. In the Beast Wars, these stasis pods would lose altitude and crash land on the planet, prompting both the Maximals and Predacons to race and fight for their acquisition. Any protoforms obtained by Megatron's forces would be reprogrammed to become Predacons, bolstering his ranks in his efforts against the Maximals. When Optimus Primal piloted a stasis pod into the center of the planet Buster and detonated a transwarp cell, the resulting destruction was accompanied by a quantum surge. This surge irradiated both the Axelon and Darkseid, altering Megatron, Tarantulas, Cheetor, and Rattrap, granting them new transmetal forms. The surge also affected the protoforms still in stasis pods, resulting in future awakened Transformers possessing partial or wholly transmetal bodies. Local deposits of unstable Energon were either destroyed or converted to stable Energon cubes by the Surge. Megatron would take advantage of this and develop more formidable forms for himself and his warriors as time went on. In the Beast Wars, Ravage was sent by the Tri-Predicus Council to capture Megatron, who was considered an outlaw. Ravage was a Decepticon warrior who had been reformatted into a Predacon at the end of the Great War. He arrived on prehistoric Earth in a specially modified stealth transwarp cruiser after the Council detected a transwarp explosion on Earth. His mission was to clean up any messes Megatron might have made and destroy him, along with the rest of the Maximal crew. Ravage easily allied with the Maximals to capture Megatron, with the help of his stealth capabilities and Tarantulas, another agent of the Council. Unfortunately, Megatron had one more card to play. He used a fragment from the Golden Disk to show Ravage the message from his previous master, Megatron the leader of the Decepticons. The message was the plan to use the transwarp technology to return to prehistoric Earth. Moved by the sight of his former master, Ravage joined the Predacons and turned on the Maximals. Ravage transformed into his old mini-cassette alternate mode, jumped into the tape player on his ship, and took full control. However, Ravage's latest treachery was short-lived. 
During the assault on the Axelon, Rattrap infiltrated Ravage's ship and used fusion grenades to cause an explosion that destroyed the vessel and Ravage himself. Despite his best efforts, Ravage ultimately failed to fulfill his mission and was defeated by the Maximals. The tri Predicus Council had other agents that could pick up the task where their previous agent failed, thus enters Magmatron into the Beast Wars. According to one account, Magmatron was the result of one of many experiments conducted by the tri Predicus Council in the advent of protoform technology after the signing of the Pax Cybertronia. Another account has it that, during the early days of the Pax Cybertronia, Magmatron endangered the fragile peace, being an indomitable general who would not accept defeat. When he was finally brought to heel by the tri Predicus Council, he still chafed under the terms of the treaty and the Council's apparent willingness to roll over for the Maximals. However, he accepted his change in status and maneuvered into a position on the Committee for State Affairs alongside his old enemy, Big Convoy. The Council had ordered him to pick up Ravage's mission. But Magmatron was too frustrated by the Council's decision to bide its time. He formed an elegant and tightly knit plan to travel backwards in time to prehistoric Earth and reprogram all of the remaining protoform Maximals into Predacons, keeping his plans secret until the last moment. After being embedded by Leo Convoy in Magmatron's organization, Razor Beast became an undercover agent whose mission was to discover and foil the General's plans. He, along with Magmatron and his crew, traveled back in time to prehistoric Earth to retrieve the rogue Megatron and avoid detection by entering the chronal phase. However, this mission was just a front for the true plan, which was to challenge the Maximals for control of Cybertron. To achieve this, Magmatron needed an army, and prehistoric Earth was filled with the stasis pods that had been abandoned by the Axelon. Razor Beast was tasked with awakening these protoforms as Predacons, but he inserted a virus into the protoform awakening software that allowed some of them to retain their maximal allegiance. Fleeing from Magmatron, Razor Beast hooked up with a few Maximals. As Magmatron was surveying the time stream, he witnessed several key events of the Beast Wars. Among those was Ravage having a conversation with the captured Megatron. After Ravage's involvement in the Beast Wars, Magmatron recovered his heavily damaged torso, which still contained a spark. Magmatron then inserted the spark into a blank protoform, which had already been affected by the Transmetal II driver, and Ravage was reborn. In his Transmetal II body, he and his fellow Predacons, under the command of Magmatron, sought out Razor Beast's band of Maximals. Magmatron plans would be foiled, and Magmatron and Ravage would likely be destroyed during the events of Beast Machines. It is also likely that Megatron would dispose of his beast mode, Cryotech would most likely offer to rid him of it, wishing to take the powerful Dragon Alt mode for himself. This process would leave Cryotech disabled, allowing Megatron to steal his research and conquer Cybertron. It is uncertain what happened to the tri Predicus Council, but it is likely that they would have joined the Beast Wars and combined to form tri Predicus. However, they would have ultimately been defeated during the war. Alternatively, the tri Predicus Council may have had their sparks imprisoned along with the rest of Cybertron by Megatron after stealing Cryotech's research during the events of Beast Machines. During the Beast Machine series, Megatron took over Cybertron using a virus and an army of Viacons, thanks to Cryotech's research. He declared war on all organic life forms, beginning an era of technological superiority and deadly opposition to organics. However, the Maximals soon returned and were tasked by the mystical oracle to end Megatron's reign and bring about a widespread evolution into the techno-organic. Optimus Primal succeeded at this task, sacrificing both himself and Megatron in the organic core of Cybertron. This ending of Transformers was quite controversial, and it is considered one of the franchise's most unpopular entries. Interestingly, after the events of Beast Machines, Dive Bomb, who was long thought destroyed, would resurrect Razorclaw, who would once again lead the Predacons into battle on a new bio-organic Cybertron. If you enjoyed the video, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing to our channel for more content related to villains. Also, make sure to check out our Bad Guy of the Day playlist and our Tools of Evil series. Furthermore, please feel free to visit my community tab and participate in the polls there. Thank you for your support.